Good morning. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCastSOS.com. Honeybees in America are dying at a staggering rate. From April 2014 to April 2015, 42% of the hives died. That's a quarter of a trillion honeybees gone. OMG, what's going on? The health and well being of honeybees are crucial to our survival. Let me tell you why. Did you know that 40% of the food on your dinner plate every night is courtesy of honeybees and their phenomenal pollinating services? There are over 20,000 species of bees on our globe that pollinate over 80% of all flowering plants or in excess of 200,000 different plants. The number one culprit for bee deaths across America and around the globe are insecticides. Did you know that each year, 5 billion pounds of insecticides are thrust into the biosphere? One third of them, or 1.7 billion pounds, are neonicotinoids, or neonics. Neonics are a neuroactive insecticide fashioned after nicotine. That is... Neonics are a nerve poison. They prevent acetylcholine from enabling neurons to communicate with each other and muscles. Bees lose their minds and shake to death, eerily similar to symptoms of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. My colleague, friend, and mentor, esteemed toxicologist, Dr. Hank Tenneke's detailed the lethal effects of neonics in soils and waterways across Western Europe. Disasterinthemaking.com, a book everyone should own. Neonics hang around in soils and waterways for years, killing all life forms. They ripple death through ecosystems. Two years ago, Dr. Christy Morrissey of the University of Saskatchewan found 80 to 90 percent of wetlands she studied across Western Canada contaminated with these deadly neonics. She said, is that the cost? No birds? Or having no butterflies? Or having no bees? Researchers at Harvard University showed that two widely applied neonics are lethal even at low doses for honeybee colonies. Neonics and the climate crisis mixed together kill bees even faster. So both colder and hotter temperatures are deadly for the bees. Ladies and gentlemen, the bees are the modern-day canaries in the coal mine. Hello, it's time for a worldwide ban on all neonics. Because if the bees die, we die. And that's not going to happen on my watch. Please support the okraproject.org because they're making Earthcast SOS possible. I'm Earth Doctor. Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.